Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to our webinar. Today, we're talking about email templates and specifically how to create high performing email templates with the help of your wizards, which probably most of you are using already or familiar with. Your speakers today are Alex Pustovoito, Digital Excellence Manager, and Vlada Komarenko, Digital Excellence Lead here at Y7. Before we dive deeper into the overview and guidelines of creating high-performing email templates with the help of eWizard, we will start with some statistics of this channel in general and its popularity. So, according to Litmus, average time spent reading an email in 2011 was 10.4 seconds in comparison with 2018, which is 13.4 seconds, and that is 29% time increase in email reading, which is a good news for marketers using actively this channel of communication. Smart multi-channel approach is gradually affecting HTTPs and MedRap relationships. For any business, especially in pharma, where physicians are pressed for time, email campaigns is a good point to start your digital communication, as it is an easiest and the most affordable way to connect your audience. Proven records from Litmus have shown that 86% of physicians check their email two or three times per day, and 68% of physicians prefer to receive information from pharma via email, as most of them say that they can open an email wherever they will have time. Thus, we can say for sure that this channel uh, is still on track and we need uh, to use it while working on this, under the strategy and overthink how uh, we can easily create, update and reuse content for this channel efficiently. And here comes our solution, eWizard, with the help of which possible to operate with content creation for different channels and without coding skill. Now, if you've ever been upset by standard presentations and flexibility and had to um, subcontract an IT specialist to create unique presentations and send them to your CLM, then it's time to get rid of this headache since eWizard does all this job for you. Wizard is a platform for multi-channel content creation, localization, publication, and many more. With Wizard at hand, you can create a state-of-the-art e-detailer, share it with your colleagues, approve it, publish, or export to any target system, demonstrate the e-detailer event, and email templates to your audience, collect KPIs, and get your product. To be more precise, eWizard allows you to create various content covering the different, the different needs, an e-detailer for a call flow for detailed conversation, an, e an email to invite a doctor, a microsite, and a survey to check out the knowledge. And on top of that, eWizard features an integrated publish to major external systems like Viva, uh, Ituvia, um, and export to even more. And right now, we will talk more on the roles and permissions of the users of the platform. User permissions in the wizard are fully customizable and uh, it is possible to enable particular functionalities for each user based on their place in the workflow. It's possible to set up personalized user roles to form a cross-functional team while working on the project. It allows to create a relevant capability profile with granular precision to support your team. For example, to manage presentation, to edit them, publish or export, or even to set up them in right. Actually, in the user platform, we have four main user roles. It is content creator, content reviewer, content publisher, and content explorer. Content creator is responsible for creation, email templates, presentation, and micro websites here in the wizard. And once the piece of content is ready, the user with a content creation role have rights to send for the approval to the content reviewer. The user responsible uh, for sharing feedback and approval of the content created in the, created in the wizard. He can comment on and track the quality of the content created. When our presentation is approved, 
Content publisher can export and publish the content to the targeted system our client is using. It can be either Viva or Salesforce Marketing Cloud or Navigate or any other system. And finally, uh, the Content Explorer, this is the user function out, uh, outside of the e-visor platform. And his main job is organize the data search of the email templates inside of the Viva, Salesforce or the Navigate. This user controls the life cycle of the content in the Navigate also and requires the changes in the email template. Well, and right now we will proceed with the live demo of the user platform and how easily we can manage email templates creation. So we will start with an interface and general overview of the services that we have here, here in the visor. So first of all, uh, it is a detailer service. Uh, it's a service for the presentations uh, and the user can work uh, under, under them. And uh, next goes the email template service. This is a module where the user can work and manage the workflow of the email templates. Next role, the call flows. It is the service where the content creator can quickly uh, combine slides from different presentation into a new linear call flow for the particular visit. And then it's also possible to download it uh, and send it to the CRM of the client, the client is using. Next go, digital asset. Uh, this is the user individual media library. And the last uh, service, this is a micro website, the service for creating, uploading, and editing plain websites. For example, uh, the sites for the registration to the conference or for the remote call. Also, we have uh, two more things worth mentioning. It's our navigate and review section. So the navigate, it is a single storage of all approved presentations, email templates, and other media assets for all brand markets that use eVisor. And the review section, this kind of like inbuilt tool for reviews, approve and dismissal of the presentations and email templates. And right now we'll uh, talk on the um, email the templates interface. So uh, on the left side, we have different section like my library, share it with me and my template. So uh, in my library here, you can find the email templates created or uploaded uh, by the user of the platform. Shared with me section, this is uh, the templates available for reusing and uh, the templates that were shared uh, by uh, the colleagues uh, uh, who um, uh, shared their best practices for the certain user. And my templates, uh, this is the section where the user can find the templates which were saved or created uh, as the best practice. Uh, and right now we will go to the add new button and we will talk more on how we can create the content here in the visor. So here we have four different sections. So first of all, we're here in the email template, the module, we can create a new folder where we can store all of the email template for the particular brand. Next, uh, we can also upload uh, a new email template from our computer. And, and the next, uh, we also can uh, create uh, the fragment for the email template. It can be either fragment for the header, for the content body, or for the footer part of the email. And right now we will go to the in, uh, creation of the email itself. So first of all, we can create the email templates from the uh, already pre-designed layout. So uh, our, uh, right now we have here the set of um, already uh, created layouts, uh, which consists of the different columns, sidebars, plain text, or any other com uh, component parts. And the user, uh, an e-visor user can uh, cr create any type of the email without spending additional time on some technical detail. And let us go um, creation of the email uh, from the already pre-designed master, temp uh, master template. Uh, 
Um, master template is made up from a range of different preset wireframes. For example, it can consist from different font types and sizes, from um, color scheme, integrated brand elements, and also from inbuilt functionality. And uh, right now we will go just like uh, for the editing of the email template itself. And here we can um, we'll dwell um, some attention to the general interface of our email template editor. So on the left side we have here uh, the sidebar with the uh, components, so with the blocks and with the modules. And on the um, right side we have here um, two tabs. First tab is the styles um, for editing of the blocks and components, including their size, background color, borders, and padding. And uh, the next step is for the properties. It contains the editing options for the properties of the some specific component. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about uh, these three tabs, the modules, uh, content blocks, and components. So let's start with the smallest, uh, with, with the smallest part, which is component. Um, and component, yes, it is a smaller functional unit that you can add to the existing blocks or separately to the email. Uh, components like button, image, uh, text, or video. Now, content block is a set of freestyled components and content block can include components like images, text, uh, call to action, uh, buttons, etc. Uh, content block usually consists of three parts, header, email body, and footer. And so by mixing these uh, three blocks, you can create uh, a lot of different email. And finally, module. Module is an improved meaningful piece of content that can consist of a single component or collection of components that already have approved look and feel and some key messages inside. Uh, by default, the template for approved email comes with the following snippets, account citation, account first name, account last name, and this data will be pulled from the Salesforce once the email is sent. Now, in eWizard, the merge tags or snippets are available in text editing. Uh, for example, for personalization, uh, first name or last name facilitation, and uh, as a complementary, like best regards, yours sincerely, um, etc. When, for example, sending a rep triggered email after a visit. Uh, now, in case uh, when you want to reuse your created email uh, template as a template for the next time, you can save this email template as my template in the more menu. And then it will become available for the use when choosing a template to use for email creation. Uh, there is also a review functionality inside InWizard. Uh, this service allows to review the email templates and streamline the communication between the teams. Once the email is ready to be submitted for review, uh, the send for review functionality is used. Uh, so remember, we talked about the role of the reviewer. And uh, in this case, he can give comments, uh, decline, or approve this email. And the status of the email will be changed in the user email template service. So there are four, uh, four statuses. Draft, uh, when the email is being created or um, when you're implementing any changes into it. Then in review, when it is pending or being reviewed. And finally, approved or declined. Um, those are the final stages for a particular version of the email. Um, now, there is also um, a collaboration mode available inside eWizard, and this mode allows several people to work on one project. Uh, it can be used as a way to share the email with the content publisher. And, um, and eWizard also shows notifications about uh, new collaborators and their actions in, in this notification. Uh, window right here. Um, well, and if you remember, my colleague mentioned uh, in Wizard Navigate, uh, uh, like a store that keeps all your key brand assets organized and accessible. 
uh, such as e-detailing, microsites, videos, media, documents, and from uh, from the user uh, master uh, from user temp email templates, you can also publish directly uh, your email template into this uh, into the store navigate. Now there are also uh, a possibility to publish your email templates into other systems like uh, Viva Vault and Salesforce Marketing Cloud uh, for mass mailing campaign. Um, I think at this point that's it what we wanted to share with you uh, uh, in terms of the wizard and email template module. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, in case if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Send us an email. We'll be happy to arrange a demo with you and go into details of this platform. Thank you for your attention and uh, have a great day.